Hey everyone, Edward here at the Mac Observer and in this video I'll show you what to do when the Mac OS system data is huge or large. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to remove the Time Machine backups. So now in order to do this, click on the search button and then type in Terminal and access it as an application from the search results. Now in here make sure to type in the following command, then press on Enter you will also find the command in the description below if you want to copy paste it. And now simply type in the last command that you should take in consideration if you have a local snapshot. Now make sure to replace in here the seven X's with the local snapshot time and then press on enter. And when you're done, just go to system settings, then general and afterwards click on storage to check if you have any space available on your computer. Moving on, another useful solution is to use the Mac OS storage optimization feature. So what you have to do is click on the search icon, then simply type about this Mac. Now select the search result and then click on more info. Moving on, you can scroll down until you find the storage section and then click on the storage settings button. Here you can see some useful suggestions to optimize your Mac storage as per Apple's suggestions. The first one is to store your data in iCloud, which pertains you to have internet. You can also optimize the storage by automatically removing movies and TV shows that you've already watched on this Mac, and you can empty the trash automatically. If you turn this option on, obviously it will empty the trash automatically if there's stuff that has been in the trash for more than 30 days. That's it. You can move on to the next solution if this is not enough for you. Moving on, you can also delete the application logs and support files. In order to do this, open up the Finder app, then head over to the Go tab and click on it and select Go to folder from the context menu. Now in here, simply type in the following path. Now simply press on Enter and from here on, you can delete any of the folders in here that relate to apps that you've uninstalled. Make sure to note uninstalled, not installed. So select them and throw them in the trash. And you can check if your space increased. And lastly, another useful solution is to clean up the download folders. So what you have to do is click on the search icon and then simply type in download. Now select this folder from the search results. If you have any unnecessary downloads in here, select them and just throw them to the trash. Then empty your trash and make sure to check if you have enough space on your Mac. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.